We spoke about a different kind of randomized strategy in the context of IIEFG in the previous module. Uh, so that uh, randomized strategy is called the behavioral strategy. And we have also seen uh, what relationship it has with the um, mixed strategy that we are more comfortable with. We have discussed that uh, in larger detail earlier. Now, uh, why is behavioral strategies desirable, particularly in the case of uh, extensive form games? Uh, it is more natural in larger IIEFGs. Players generally plan at a stage at, a, at an information set level rather than having a master plan over all the possible strategies uh, starting at the very beginning if the game is long enough. And also uh, from a computational viewpoint, it's a smaller number of variables to deal with. So let's, for an example, pick uh, a player who has four information sets and in each information set it has two actions each and then in order to describe the mixed strategies you will need uh, some 2 to the power 4 minus 1 variables because you will have to first list down all possible uh, strategy uh, strategy profiles for that player which will be 2 to the power 4 and because they will all sum to 1 uh, you are the the number of independent variables will be 2 to the power 4 minus 1 so this many number of variables and the numbers will increase as you have exponentially increase as you have more number of uh, information sets while for uh, uh, behave, behavioral strategies you will only need four variables because at a, every round you are going to uh, toss a coin uh, and uh, taking the action accordingly so both from the point of view of, uh, of the cognitive limits of the uh, players and also from the uh, point of view of uh, computation, uh, behavioral strategy is, uh, is more desirable. Now the question uh, becomes moot if we have an equivalence uh, for, for both these two uh, type of strategies. If uh, it was always possible to find a behavioral strategy for any game, uh, for any IIEFG, for any kind of uh, mixed strategy, then uh, we can equivalently talk about behavioral strategies or mixed strategies. Um, but in this module, we are going to discuss that uh, it, it is not always true that you can construct one from the other uh, for any kind of game. So let us start with uh, the first example and uh, we'll discuss two examples in both these cases the players are sort of forgetful of a different kind we'll see so if we look at this game so notice that this is this is a very special game where player one is actually playing in both these rounds so what is happening is that first player one picks either an action l1 and r1 then it forgets which uh, which action it has picked uh, whether it has picked l1 or r1 so therefore this uh, information set arises that is one at the second level does not remember whether it has played l1 or r1 so therefore in this information set its action uh, set will be the same l1 and r, uh, l2 and r2 and therefore if you want to represent this in the form of a mixed strategy of course you'll have to keep all these numbers here l1 uh, l2 r1 uh, l1 r2 r1 l2 and r1 r2 as as we have done before however for behavioral strategies you just need two numbers so p b1 l1 and b2 l2 the other one will be just one minus that now um, uh, the mixed strategy uh, seems to have more control over these profiles so for instance if we look at uh, the case where sigma 1 l1 r2 so we can actually put the probability mass directly onto this uh, outcome. So L1, R2, so this outcome here, so at this node, we can put a probability mass of zero. Similarly for R1, L2, this outcome also, we can actually put a probability mass of zero. Now, uh, is this possible to uh, do in the case of behavioral strategy? So what does it mean? So uh, what we are doing is we are putting uh, probability zero on, to, on these two numbers, this and this, and we are uh, putting some positive numbers for these two things, right? So which automatically means that you will have to put some positive masses 
so if you have to find an equivalent um, behavioral strategy, you'll have to put some positive masses on both R1 and L1. You cannot do it otherwise because uh, both L1, L2 and R1, R2 are positive. But the moment you, and um, at the same time, because L1, L2 is also positive, so you'll have to put uh, positive masses here, as well as because R1, R2 is positive, you'll also have to put positive masses here. So uh, the, the very fact that you have put positive masses on this, uh, uh, this four uh, edges here, uh, the the, pro, the behavioral strategy will also put pro, positive masses on these numbers. You cannot really ensure that these two numbers become zero while here you will get positive masses. And that is, uh, that is the difference. So we cannot really represent uh, this kind of a mixed strategy in the form of a behavioral strategy. There is no equivalent behavioral strategy for this mixed strategy. Okay, so that is, uh, that is uh, the first example, mixed strategy with no equivalent behavioral strategies. The second example is a forgetfulness of a different kind. So here, uh, player one is again playing uh, first and also playing in the second round. Uh, but the point is, these two uh, nodes in the game tree are connected, with the connected in an information set, which means that player one has actually forgotten whether it has played at all or not so that is that is the that is a simple way of saying this so it has played and then uh, at this point if it is unsure whether it has played or not then only it, ca it can be connected uh, with a dotted line so therefore it is uh, it cannot distinguish between these two things now uh, here what can happen so if you are talking about uh, behavioral strategies uh, then it is defined on every node in the information set. So um, we earlier we haven't made uh, it so fine grained because uh, we never had this kind of examples. Uh, so we have only defined the behavioral strategies at a specific information set. But uh, the behavioral strategy can be defined at every node of this uh, game tree, uh, even if two different nodes in this game tree are at the same uh, information set. So we can define the so the what uh, player one will do under a behavioral strategy is it, at this node it will toss a coin and pick uh, L or R which will be given by the corresponding probability masses uh, of this uh, behavioral strategy. Similarly, when it reaches this, it uh, tosses the same coin uh, because it's a, it's the same behavioral strategy. It's under the same information set and it goes uh, either L or R based on the outcome of that uh, coin toss. Now what you can observe is that under that behavioral strategy it is possible. So let's say it is half and half, right? So you, you can just uh, uh, toss an unbiased coin and uh, that gives half and half. Uh, then in the second round also you are uh, tossing the same coin with probability half and half. So there is a possibility that you will uh, take this path L and R with probability one fourth. But there is no such mixed strategy because mixed strategies are defined based on the pure strategies. And what are the uh, pure strategies that are available to player one in this case? Only L and R. There is nothing like LR uh, or LL in this case. Uh, so uh, in this particular case, the behavioral strategy is giving you more flexibility than the uh, mixed strategy. So mixed strategy in the mixed strategy world, choosing some probability on L means you are going all the way here uh, and choosing R at this node means that you are reaching here. There is no way you can reach this under the uh, under a uh, pure strategy and uh, therefore you cannot reach there. With uh, You can reach only this node with zero probability under the mixed strategy. So that is uh, the example where behavioral strategy uh, does not have an equivalent mix strategy. Think about it. So uh, both these examples are uh, forgetfulness of a different kind. In the first uh, example, the player remembers that it has made a move but forgets which move it has made. In the second example, it has actually forget, uh, forgotten whether it has made a move or not. So that's, the, that's two different kinds of forgetfulness. So this equivalence, as we have seen, does not hold if the players are forgetful. Now let us uh, dissect the, the second example a little more 
so that we can actually save uh, some results uh, about uh, when the behavioral strategy does not have any equivalent mix strategy. So if we look at the, the, the previous example uh, that we have an, uh, uh, if we have a specific node, uh, let's say non-root node, and um, we are taking the action. So let's say let's say we have a specific node here, and we are looking at uh, the path that it takes. Let's say uh, this particular example may have some other nodes uh, up, up there. So there is some uh, root uh, above, and uh, you are just looking at the path from that root to a specific uh, uh, node here, and it is passing through the same information set twice. Right, and in the way from its unique path to the, from the root to this node, let's say this is this is my uh, destination node, and uh, this path is coming from the root to here. Uh, there are two different nodes, let's say x and x1, where it is uh, uh, it is actually intersecting with the same information set, and the actions that are being taken in these two different uh, nodes are different. So uh, at this x, you are taking the action L. And at x1, you are taking the action r. If this happens, then you can never ensure uh, an equivalent behavioral, uh, equivalent mix strategy for, for a behavioral strategy on this kind of games. So essentially, it is uh, uh, sort of uh, formalizing uh, the example that we have uh, we have just seen. So you, you can formally state it in the form of a lemma. So there, if there exists a path from the root to some vertex x that passes through the same information set at least twice and if the action leading to x is not the same at each of those vertices then the player of the information set has a behavioral strategy that has no equivalent mix strategy so the lemma helps and in, uh, helps us in proving uh, the, the following characterization result of equivalence and i am not going to prove this uh, here uh, you can read it so this is theorem 6.11 of uh, the the Mashler's book. So consider an uh, uh, imperfect information extensive form game such that every vertex has at least two actions. Every behavioral strategy has an equivalent mix strategy if and only if each information set of a player intersects every path emanating from the root um, at most once. So it is essentially ruling out the situation that we have just seen. Uh, if that does not happen, then you can always ensure that there exists an equivalent uh, mixed strategy and a behavioral strategy. Uh, so you have an equivalent mixed strategy for a behavioral strategy. This is a necessary and sufficient condition for that to happen.